Hi guys, it's Kyra, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about some facts about myself that I wrote on this paper, but I cannot show because, well, that's like spoiling the whole point, and like, what would be the point of watching it, you know? Um, okay. So, the first fact I wanted to mention today was the fact that I'm fearless, but scared of everything. Okay, so like, I can like... I might seem fearless to everyone in a way like they might think that I'm confident and that I am not scared to be myself and stuff and like to an extent some of that stuff is true but I'm so terrified like of bugs like they can just ruin everything honestly it can ruin my whole mood if I see a bug and it's like ridiculous right but it's true <laughs> Um, the next thing is that it's to do with my age for the second thing and things around that area. So, um, first I want to mention that I'm still in high school and next year I will be a senior. So after next year I will be graduating. The next thing I wanted to mention was that my birthday is July 2nd, 2001 and I'm 16 years old. So, yeah, this summer I'm turning 17. So... Yeah, no one ever ce celebrates my birthday during the school year because, you know, it's always, like, even when I was on traditional schedule in elementary and we would get, like, only a week off in summer, it, it was my birthday week. So it's just, like, really? So, yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing, the third thing I'm going to mention are the sports I did. So, um, in 10th grade, I tried out my first sport, which was gonna, which was track. Track was great. I really liked it my 10th grade year. Yeah, it was great. Um, when we would get punishments, though, it was horrible. Like, making us run and stuff was the worst thing ever, and I hated it. But I guess it had to be done. And then um, my junior year, I tried out for volleyball, and I didn't make it. So I was like, well, there has to be something I can do, you know, to, like, replace that void. Because, like, I am so sad that I did not make this team. So I tried out for, well, I didn't even really try it out. I went to tennis. So, yeah. The only two sports I did was track and tennis so far in high school. And it is so sad to say that you, anyone can make it into those sports. So, and I'm not saying that that makes the sport a bad thing because you can be really good at track, but just everyone makes it. So you can just be like JV or same thing with tennis. You can just be JV, but you're still going to make the team. And for me personally, I shouldn't have made tennis and I know that. So I'm just going to put that out there. I sucked at tennis. But for what I did in track, I did shot put and discus. And shot put is like a little ball and you just throw it. And then disc is like a disc. The disc for girls is like about the size of this mirror. Let me take it. And then you just like throw it. So... Yeah, basically, those are the things I did for track, and I will say that I was pretty good at it for the school, not for, like, state or the city, but as far as my school went, I was pretty good at it. And, um, for clubs or activities that I've done, freshman year, I definitely wanted to, like, get out there, but it was very hard, and, um, I didn't really know how. And I joined a video club, and <laughs> it was pretty bad. Is this recording? Oh, it is. Okay. The club was, it, as far as I can remember, it's it's kind of a blur. It wasn't really a big part of my life, but um, I think we were planning to do different things that we didn't end up, I don't think we ended up doing it, but they're like, oh, maybe next year. And um, I don't remember, but basically... I quit. No, not that I quit. I think everyone just stopped going. And then I was like, oh, I'll go next year. Because we had like a kick chat. And I didn't go next year. I don't even think it was a thing next year. As far as I knew. It might have been converted into another name or something. It wasn't really something that interest, interested me anymore at that point. So, yeah. Um, The next thing I wanted to mention was Key Club. My sophomore year, I was in Key Club. It was so fun. Like, we went to Six Flags for, um, for spirit, for something spirit-related. I forgot what it's called. No, I think it's Fall Rally, actually. 
yeah. Um, I don't know, but there was a bunch of key clovers there from from California and Nevada, I think. Or it might have just been from, like, Southern California, but Nevada also had theirs, and then, like, Northern California also had theirs. I don't really know how it worked, but all I know is there was tons of schools there. Even if they weren't from Nevada, if those schools were all from California, there was a ton. Like, it was beautiful. Like, everyone had their little color and their little animal. Our animal was bison, like, the bison that Avatar rides on, and um, our color was blue. And it was... It was great. I can actually show you guys this shirt. Um, but yeah, I just want to mention the main thing of Key Club is not like um to just go have fun at Six Flags. Even though that was great, like we didn't even ride a lot of rides. We we were just like hugging people and just meeting people and that was the fun of it. But um don't get me wrong, Six Flags is a great place. I've only been there once and it was that time and I only read on two rides, but I don't regret it oddly. It was very fun, you know, and Key Club it's basically like a community service thing. Um and you can help your community out and stuff. So yeah. Next club was Link Crew. Asked, oh no rewind more. Sophomore year they asked us who Link Crew and I was just like so scared and it was like the end of sophomore year and I was just like so scared I was like no those freshmen are not gonna like me and my friends joined it and I didn't but I still went to some of the events but basically what Link Crew is is it's this club where you welcome the new freshmen of the school it's basically for sophomores no basically for juniors and seniors to welcome the underclassmen the freshmen into our school and make them feel welcome and stuff of that sort i i'm pretty sure that's like the gist of it and then the next thing is best buddies and best buddies is a club that i did this year and i'm also going to do next year basically you um you want to like be friends with the children that have special needs because like sometimes it can be harder for, me, for them to make other friends outside of their class and stuff so I think that's like the main purpose but we do like things like events and stuff like I went to prom I could show you guys it was fun um it was a best buddies prom so I'll enter that clip next thing I wanted to mention <laughs> that was like a lot of talking wait so one two three four fifth thing I wanted to mention was my favorite colors and my favorite colors are pink and blue when i was little my favorite color was pink and then my friends she was my best friend at the time her favorite color was blue and um then my favorite color became blue too because i don't know that's just like what little kids do i guess but i just like saw the beauty in it like because she made me see it in a way and then um i went back to pink and then like now that i'm older i realize that um, I like both of them, so yeah, little backstory. Um, and then the sixth thing is my height. So I'm five five. Um, I just wanted to mention that because, like, I don't know. I feel like it's interesting. People don't see me as being five five in real life. They, st I don't know. They probably see me as being six feet because, um, I seem so much taller than everyone. So I honestly think people probably think I'm six feet but I don't know it's just like whenever I tell people my height they they're like no way even though I have like the doctor paper because like I I after someone was telling me no way I, I ended up getting sick and going to the doctor and I was like saying I'm 5'5 five five, so I'm just like no way hmm no way no but um I don't know I haven't grown too much since seventh grade um seventh grade I was 5'4 and then, like freshman year, I was like five four and a half, and then now I'm five five. So, I grew an inch ever since seventh grade, and honestly, I don't want to grow anymore because people already think I'm like a giant. So yeah, but that's the end of my video, and I just I hope that you got to know some facts about me that I might not have mentioned, or that are just things you want to know, I guess. But yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.